Are you a permanent Florida resident and homeowner? If you are, have you filed for the Florida Homestead Exemption? Hi, I'm Larry Brostek with REMAX Alliance Group. I can walk you through what the Homestead Exemption is and why it matters to you. What is the Florida Homestead Exemption? As a permanent Florida resident and homeowner, you are entitled to get a Homestead Exemption on your primary residence. The exemption is a $50,000 reduction of the assessed value of your home and which determines your property taxes. What are the eligibility requirements for the Homestead Exemption? To be eligible for the Homestead Exemption, your home must be your primary residence as of January 1 in the year you are filing. If you rented the property in the previous year, you only could have done so for a maximum of 30 days. When should I file an application for Homestead Exemption? Your application must be filed between January 1 and March 1. The March 1st deadline is in the year you are filing. You can file online in Sarasota County using Sarasota appraiser site www.sc-pa.com and look under exemptions. If the property you are homesteading is in another county, look under that county's appraiser site. What documentation do I need to file for the homestead exemption? All documentation must show your permanent residence address. You will need a valid Florida driver's license or valid Florida identification card with the ID number and issue date. Florida vehicle registration if a vehicle is owned with tag number and issue date. Voter registration if a registered voter with ID number and issue date. If you are not a citizen, you will need your permanent resident alien card with ID number and issue date. Also, you must submit a copy well, as part of the ap exemption application. What other information is on the exemption application? You will also have to provide the following, date of birth, social security number. If you are married, you will also be required to provide your spouse's social security number. Date you purchased the property, date you occupied the property, address of previous residence, address of other property or properties owned, telephone number, employment information if applicable, and mailing address listed in last IRS tax return. Married couples filing for homestead exemption must complete the application during the same application session. If you, are, if you are married and your spouse is not filing for a homestead exemption, you will be asked to provide the following information. Name of spouse, spouse's social security number, spouse's date of birth, spouse's Florida driver's license or Florida identification card number, if applicable, spouse's primary residence address and residency-based exemptions discount information. In addition to the homestead benefit, the Save Our Homes cap was established in 1995, according to Florida statutes. The Save Our Homes cap is placed on the assessed value the year after the property receives a homestead exemption and is based on the lower of the following. 3% of the assessed value of the property for the prior year or the percentage change in the consumer price index CPI as reported by the U.S. Department of Labor Bureau of Labor Statistics. This means your taxes will not increase by more than 3% in any given year. In 2008, a constitutional amendment was passed adding portability of the exemption, allowing some or all of the exemption to be transferred to another home. Very beneficial to a homeowner who trades up to a larger home or one who downsizes to a smaller one. Do you qualify for additional homestead exemptions? To find out if you qualify for any additional homestead exemptions, contact the property appraiser's office in the county that your property is located. Hopefully this information will help you. Happy homesteading. For more information, call or text me 941-993-3125 and check out my website, LarrySellsSarasota.com. Thank you.